Happy New Year's everyone. Um, my name is Alice Stanton and today I'm going to share with you my morning breakfast for the first day of 2021. So last night I was craving for something a little bit fancier, different than I would normally make. So I'm going to make buttermilk pancakes and we're going to talk a little bit about 2021. So I went ahead and got a recipe already from Cooking New York Times. I'll share the link below. Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need three cups of flour, um, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a four teaspoons of kosher salt, two and a half cups of buttermilk, two large eggs, and three tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. So I've gone ahead and gotten all those things ready. And what we're gonna do is start with our dry ingredients. I like to get those mixed up with each other and kind of all combined. That way you get an even mixture. So I'm just taking a little whisk. I've got my baking soda and my baking powder here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my flour into a large mixing bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this. I'm just gonna keep mixing these things so that they're incorporated evenly into the dry mixture. And we're gonna add our salt. We're gonna add our sugar. So we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients together. Um, I did forget to melt my butter, so you're gonna want to have you're, you're gonna want to do that as well. So I'm using a plant-based butter that I recently um, bought. It's a country cock, country cock plant-based butter. So I'm gonna see how this works. We need three uh, tablespoons, so um, I just have the stick butter here. Um, I'm gonna melt this in a little bowl real quick in the microwave. Okay, so we've got our pan. Um, it's getting hot right now. And we're gonna go ahead and get some of these things out of the way. You always wanna just keep cleaning up while you're cooking. And um, gonna incorporate these dry ingredients a little bit more. Sometimes if you don't get everything mixed evenly in your dry ingredients, you'll end up having like a weird spot and it'll taste like baking soda or something and you don't want that. All right, great. So it looks like this plant butter, when I show you that, um, looks like it melts it down pretty good. And it's not separated or anything. Like sometimes you get those um, plant alternative or even like a butter alternative and they're more water, mostly water. So anyways, this is pretty hot right now, so I'm going to give that a second to cool down. I'm going to add my eggs. So we're going to do one egg, then we're going to do the other egg. And um, I'm just mixing these up with a whisk. There's no need for any sort of hand mixer, mix master, or anything like that. So, I'm sure may, many of you may have already made pancakes before. I've never made buttermilk pancakes from scratch. Uh, usually, I end up buying like the mixes for pancakes and I do the ones that are more of a protein base, so I don't eat a lot of this kind of stuff. But, it's New Year's. Like I said, I had extra ingredients left over. So, having that said, I'm adding the rest of my wet ingredients to this pan to my bowl. I should have gotten a much larger whisk. But you can probably use a fork as well to um, mix this up. But once it starts getting more liquefied, everything should just kind of loosen up when you're mixing it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about who I am what's brought me to um, the YouTube world. And basically, um, I've been spending a lot of time, more than I used to, even more now that we're in this pandemic together. But um, 
I just always had an anxiety and a crippling fear of doing anything in front of other people. And I'm always, you know, trying to find a way for myself to just break these barriers of fear that I have about doing anything. I mean, it's almost, you know, crippling in so many ways. It just stops me in my tracks to where I have ideas and I just, the fear of, you know, what other people might think or what I look like in putting myself out there. I just feel like I have a lot to offer the world. And right now I've just been kind of stuck in my own, like, I don't even know what you want to call it. I mean, I spent most of 2019 just suffering from horrible depression. Um, I am in school right now, and that was a huge choice for me to change from a creative field to medical. So right now, I am enrolled in a ultrasound program for vascular ultrasound, and I chose it based on the fact that I wanted to make money. I don't want to continue living without having a good backup for an income because with everything that happened with the pandemic, this is the second time in my you know, lifetime that the economies had taken a huge hit and I ended up in some scenario where my job went away. Now it's basically happening because I worked in a restaurant industry while I'm going to school and the restaurant industry has gotten hit really hard with the pandemic and all the, the lockdowns and everything. So the last time this happened was the economy tank to 2008 and I was working in the entertainment industry at that point too and I've also lost that job and certain industries just can't withstand these kind of events in, in life. So I just didn't want that to happen again. I have other goals that I'm working on getting once I get through school and every day honestly just ends up being a question of am I doing the right thing? Am I making a mistake? What, is, what do people think about me when I talk about what I'm doing? People that know me, constant, constant, just questions in my own head about well, am I doing the right thing? So my goal was for 2021 is to continue the journey that I've been on. I still have days where I'm like, oh my God, like what am I doing? But I have a lot more tools now to help me. And I'm hoping that through this, the, through my videos and my YouTube, um, I can help other people in the, that are suffering in the same way that I have, that I had. Um, I'm not like at a hundred percent, but I'm definitely pretty happy. And I have tools to like remind myself on a daily basis of what happiness truly is to me. Um, it gets hard sometimes because you end up comparing yourself to the other things that are going around that you see and we all know about that um and now it's even more in our faces with social media and everything but i just wanted to put myself out there in a way that makes me feel like i'm participating in the world and I'm not just a person with good ideas that's in their house all day. Um, I have a lot of friends, I know a lot of people, but the interactions with these people, and they're very limited. And I found out through talking to friends during this pandemic that they're honestly going through a lot of the same things as I am. And, you know, taking a nap during the day and they're not working. And a lot of these things have changed, like the daily life of a lot of people. And um, it just made me realize that I honestly have a lot to offer my friends and people that I care about in the world. So um, I read this book and I'm going to show that to you in the second half of this video. And you'll learn more about that book. Um... But I read this book and it talks about punching fear in the face. And honestly, I feel that my fear is keeping me from doing 100% of the things that I want to do in my life. And I really need to face it. I need to face it. I need to put myself out there. And I think that this is, for me, going to be a huge growth 
period for me in 2021. I just want to become the best me that I can be and not be afraid. I want to be fearless. I want to put myself out there. I want people to see somebody else that's just doing something and I'm not worried about you know the newest sneakers or getting my hair like whatever or my I don't know there's so many things on the internet now that are almost just I don't know how to say it um just senseless stuff and things that I don't really I can't um I can't associate or I don't identify with those people that I see that are so-called influencers or whatever. And I just feel like there's a lot more potential in the world for people that are maybe a little bit like more unique as individuals. And I want to just put myself out there. It's going to be more of like a therapeutic activity or a therapeutic I don't know what the word I'm trying to say, but just a therapeutic way for me to kind of tackle some of the challenges that I have in my, my life. And I'd like to get feedback from other people. So if you have questions or comments about what I'm going through, if you're going through the same thing, um, if you want to know more about these pancakes, um, we can talk about that stuff. I'd like to just, you know, hopefully make this more more or less just like a documentary of what I've done and what I'm doing in 2021. I want to share my daily events and things that are happening in my life and uh, hopefully just help other people not feel like they're alone because I go through that a lot where I feel like I'm definitely alone in the world and I don't know it, it really does get hard sometimes. I've gone through um, therapy and I've gone through behavioral um, management therapy as well. And that was like a whole other different kind of thing that I wasn't even prepared for or knew about. <clears throat> but the biggest key thing that I want to make a note of is that if you're having a hard time or you're just not sure what you're doing, you literally have to just remind yourself that you are where you're supposed to be. If you continue to, when you get anxious or you get nervous about things, you have to just remind yourself that you're where you're supposed to be. And that's what I've been doing a lot. I just have to remind myself. So, um, it looks like this pan's pretty hot. This batter's looking pretty good. I'll give you a shot of that. I'm gonna put this butter in here. Oh, that's very hot. All right, if you're using butter, which I'm using this butter alternative, um, you don't want your butter to get burned. You don't want to burn your butter. You don't want it to get brown. So I'm just going to let that go because it's sizzling pretty good. And uh, I'm just going to show you. So here's my batter. Um, pancake batter should be a little bit runny. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, if you've ever made pancakes before, um, then you know the process. But if you've never made pancakes before, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna wanna get your pan that greased up because you don't want your pancakes to stick. So I'm just kind of swirling this pan around and um, I'm gonna let that get hot for a second. So. This is so much more pancake batter than I possibly could have wanted to, to I'm ever going to use. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe some friends will stop by and eat some pancakes with me. But in having that said, I'm going to go ahead and um, just stop mixing that. And it probably makes sense. You want to use like a ladle or something like this to um, scoop out your pancake batter. Okay, so we got our pan. Looks like we're doing, everything's pretty hot. So I've got my ladle and I'm gonna just give an estimate of how big I want these pancakes to be. Um, that looks like a good size pancake. So I'm gonna try to fit three of those in this pan.
Um, hopefully they don't touch into each other. So you just kind of want to cook that kind of at a low setting because you don't want them to burn. And again, I'm using butter, so I don't want these um, pancakes to get brown in a weird way because when you overcook butter, it gets brown and I don't want that to happen. So yeah, we're basically going to let these puppies cook in here. The way pancakes work is that you want to cook them until you see bubbles at the top. Once you see bubbles at the top, then that's your indication to flip the pancake over. So we're going to give these guys a couple of minutes and uh, we'll come back in a second and see what kind of bubbles we got and we'll give them a flip. All right, so we've got our pancakes in the skillet. I want some fresh fruit to go with my pancakes. So I've got strawberries and I've got grapes. So I'm going to cut up some of those fruits before the pancakes get done. So everything kind of cohesively is done all at one time and I can enjoy them all together. So you want to take your fruit. You just always want to make sure that you wash everything. Up. Um, it, it does help to dry it too, because if you don't, makes everything a little soggy. So, I'm going to give these puppies a rinse. Keeping an eye on my pancakes in the pan over there. They look like might have some bubbles coming up soon. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pee Wee Herman, but Pee Wee Herman's one of my favorite, like, all-time I don't know, actors, comedians, entertainers, let's say that. Pee Wee Herman is one of my, it's not even Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens, but anyways, that character has been with me my entire life. Even as a kid, I was acting crazy and doing funny shit because of watching Pee Wee Herman. And um, if you watch Big Top Pee Wee, all right. Peter Hammer's Big Adventure, he makes a Mr. Breakfast face with his breakfast. I'm going to try and see if we can work a Mr. Breakfast out today with our pancakes. I did one for my Christmas breakfast. So we're going to do try to make one for New Year's Day, New Year's 2021. And I'd actually, honestly, I saw a meme last night that was just about like forgiving and like forgetting about stuff. I would honestly like, like it if I just kind of forget about everything that happened in 2020 and just, you know, start new. And I know that's crazy in a way that I don't know, it's going to be probably kind of difficult for a lot of people to just do that. But I think that's like a mindset that we have to start thinking. Um, I know for me, had this pandemic not happened, I don't know how I would be doing right now. I've been doing uh, incredibly well. Like my mental health has been better than it's ever been. Um, I've gotten help from different organizations to help me like financially get through this these grapes are so good they're these cotton candy grapes so good all right we're gonna jump over to um our pancakes and see what's going on over there the pancakes are still getting a little bit more bubbly i'm gonna give them a little bit more time but i'm also gonna make a um meatless breakfast sausage uh this brand hillary's i got at whole foods Normally I would cook it in the skillet, but um, I'm trying to make a really cool breakfast face and I need something for eyes. So I'm just gonna toss this in the microwave for, I think it's probably like 30 seconds to a minute in the microwave, just so I can add a little bit more uh, detail to my breakfast face. Gonna check these pancakes. All right, the moment has come. I took a little peek. That looks like our pancakes are pretty good on the bottom, so I'm gonna give them a flip. 
and that looks pretty good to me. So let's hope the rest of them are looking just as good. These are some fluffy pancakes. Oh, sweet. So we're going to go back and uh, work on our fruit and the rest of our face. I do want to mention that um, this year I bought myself a new set of cookware. It took me years, seriously, to find a good set of cookware. And I just want to show you guys the set that I got um, was a recommendation from a friend of mine. Um, his name's Mark Brand. Um, he's a professional chef and he told me that he cooks with all clad. So this is an all clad. Um, this is their hard anodized uh, collection line. Um, it was a little bit pricey. I did get it on Amazon. Um, the thing about it and the reason why I wanted to mention all clad is because it is a Pennsylvania company. Um, so when I found that out, that not only were they made in the United States, that it's also made in Pennsylvania, it was a, a no brainer for me to keep those pans. I had bought several different sets of pans just this year alone um, that I returned because the nonstick surfaces were not adequate enough and they were really just poor quality altogether. So um, I just wanted to mention that as well. So if you are just getting into cooking or anything like that, um, get yourself good tools. You can't really do the best with tool if you don't have the best tools. All right, so looks like it's time to take these puppies out. They kind of look like crumpets. It's a little strange. Um, for me, I love crumpets. But um, I wanted to do a stack here, but I think I'm only going to do two. Maybe I can do three. Hmm. Let's just do two. I'm going to try to make a little face. Actually, let's do one. Yeah. Or could that be his eyes? That could be eyes. Eyes. Eyebrows. Um, so, no, it's not working. Um, mm. okay, more written now. I did use grapes as hair on my Christmas day face, but it's whatever. Good morning, Mr. New Year's Breakfast. Good morning, Alice. I like to use this uh, agave in the raw instead of syrup. Now it looks like everything's pretty much finished, guys. I'm gonna eat this. All right, so we got everything finished. We're gonna turn off the oven. We've got our New Year's breakfast face, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this, and uh, we're gonna talk about some books. Alright guys, thank you for joining me today while I take the first steps into the new year of 2021. I don't even want to mention the previous year, I'll just refer to it as the year. Let's take two on a new decade and start making changes in our lives that we need to make. Um, I do want to mention um, of the book that I had mentioned earlier is called 
Punch Fear in the Face, Escape Average, Do Work That Matters, Start. And it's by John Acuff. I got this book from the little library that was at my gym. They have a little bookshelf there and people leave and take books. Um, in this book, there's a lot of just motivating information about not being afraid. It's about the fear that we have and I, we face this fear every single day. I, even today, while I was planning on starting this YouTube channel and getting myself out there to face this fear, I'm still hearing fear telling me, you know, people are going to make fun of you. Why would you do this? Um, so that book was very inspirational. So I wanted to share that again with you guys. I'm also starting on a new journal and every therapy type organization or, you know, yoga type meditation life. I don't know what you want to call it, but they tell you to journal. I started journaling last year and I used a journal that was already kind of prompts in it. So I got another one this year. Um, this one is a dating workbook by Case Kenny and I'll give you the link to that. Um, you can find Case. Um, he was actually recommended with um, a friend of mine who was following him on Instagram and she'd been sharing his post. So I jumped on and started following him as well. And um, his two books that came out, they're in the journals. Um, Single is your superpower. Catch feelings for yourself. And then we've got another journal. Um, one's a workbook and this one's called New Mindset, Who Dis? So they're pretty modern and pretty interesting. They're nice quality books. They're hard, so you can take them with you wherever. But um, this is a 60 day book program. And so I just wanna um, get on top of that. So you're gonna be following me the next 60 days as I go through these books as well. I'm gonna start on one today, but for this fact that I'm eating my pancake breakfast right now, um, I'm gonna work on that later today, but I'll share that with you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. I also have a website. You can find all those links below in the video. Um, you guys, I thank you so much for being here with me today and I hope to see you throughout the new year. Happy new year. Happy 2021.